Team Valor Stables Unrivaled goes in the bluegrass, and you bought this horse after the 15-length maiden win. Um, are there analytics that you look at that uh, help you determine horses you want to go after? Yes. Um, this horse ran a really big buyer number, which helped. He ran a very good thoroughgraph number. That helped a lot. Um, but it was just visually so exciting because he made a huge run to catch up, and then he kicked in another gear, and you don't see young horses do that too often. Uh, what about the subsequent race in your colors? What did you like about his performance that day? I thought it was just as good, if not a little better, because there wasn't quite as much pace. He made a big run to catch up. He looked like he was hopelessly beaten. And then once again, he kicked into gear, sewed the race up in a matter of four or five strides, one eased up. What went into the thinking to make the move out of Allowance Company to a grade one? Well, we bought him to see if we could get him in the Derby. Um, if he can run second or third in the Bluegrass, we should be able to get in the Derby. We think at a mile and a quarter, we'll move into a different context. And this looked like the best spot for him because he ran here, had a race over the track at two, and ran well. So that was why we came here. Remind you of any other horses you've, you've purchased uh, in terms of the way it all came down? Not really. Not really. Uh, what about how he's training coming up to this race? I think he's doing fine. He's, he's not much of a training type. You can't tell that much. Um, it's he's, he's got a tremendous heart and lung capacity, a lot of stamina. That's what makes him what he is. See a horse uh, that could go on other surfaces, you think, as well? No. Strictly dirt? Strictly dirt.